here for boxing.com. We in the house with Ashley Theodore. And Ashley, first things first, last time we seen each other was at the Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn, New York, dog, man. We spoke about it. You said you're going out to Vegas, gonna be training at the you know TMT house, dog. You got your whole family right here, dog, man. And you was officially down with TMT. How you feeling on this oh, right yeah. now? You know, it's great. On August first, Leonard had to be, you know, he announced it. I'm two on the team that I had, you know, I was officially part of the team. And you know, I was put on the pay-per-view card to open up, you know, the show for Floyd Mayweather. So it's gonna be a great event and I'm looking forward to it. And like I said, I seen you, you can walk though. I seen you out in uh Lisa Gym and your training regime. I mean to me, it's one of the hardest training regimes I've seen in a long time though, man. There's a lot of fighters out there, but they don't put in the work the way you, you put in the work. Yeah. Now over here, had you had a chance to spar with me, brother, for this fight? Oh uh, yeah, I was, part, I was part of the sparring partners, you know, so I was lucky enough to spar with Floyd. And you know, um, it was a great experience, like great experience. You know, he's one of the greatest ever, the number one boxer in the world. So from when, from when, from when you go in the ring with Floyd, you ain't worried about nobody. There were some rumors that some fighter was able to put May Mayweather down or, you know, put him down on a little knockdown or something like yeah. that. You know anything about this? Nah, nah, that never happened and I was there for all of the sparring, so that's rumors, you know, that, that may be there, like Canelo Cam, they want to stir stuff up, but that didn't happen. Like, Floyd's been doing his stuff, he looked sharp from the first day of sparring. So, um, Floyd, like, Floyd's been ready from the get-go. you got to remember, normally, Floyd has been boxing once a year. This time he had a few weeks out of the gym, he was straight back in the gym. So he's been sharp straight away. Now you got a big fight. There's the gentleman you fighting. He yeah. fought Paul Manaji, I remember, oh, yeah, yeah. at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. He gave Paulie a run for his money though. So I mean, you yeah. watched that fight, you know anything about this kid um, that yeah. you're fighting? He gave Paulie a hard fight, but then at the same time, you got to look at, he just fought Shane Mosley, who's 41 years old. Shane was on the losing streak. He had to go over to Mexico to, you know, to box this guy. So, um, you know, Shane done his stuff. So I think Paulie just made him look good. You know, I'm like, maybe Paulie, he was, he was, his eyes were on the bigger fights. So he didn't take him seriously. And um, so I'm not really worried. You got to look at where, like when you look at him and you look at me, you got to look at the guys we have beaten. And people know the guys I've beaten. I can guarantee no one don't know the guys who he's beaten. He's beaten Johan Perez, but what has Johan Perez done? So it doesn't mean anything. I've beaten Delvin Rodriguez, who's fighting Cotto next. Chop, chop, you know, um, I dropped a drop to split to um, Danny Garcia. So it is. I was about to just say that, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. you, you fought a hard fight with Danny Garcia. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, that's my boy, dog, man. As yeah, you yeah. is my homie, dog. Yeah. He's fighting a big fight with Lucas Matisse. How you see that one going down? Um, you know, it's going to be a good, a good, good fight. It's two of the best in the 140 pound on the division. So they're both going to go at it. They both believe that they are the best. So it's going to be a, a great fight, you know. There has, to, there has to be like a knockout in the fight. You just can't see it going points. The distance. You don't yeah, see that yeah, going the distance. It's going to be a great fight. Last one. Mayweather Canelo. Your prediction. How you see that going um, down? Yeah, Floyd. Like Floyd's going to win. You got to look at both of them. Like one is is um, 44 and 0. The other is 42 and 0. But it's the same thing with my opponent, who is um, Canelo um, fought. The only big fight he really had was against Trout, and I scored that fight a draw. There's some guys who fought he lost. So, so it means it was a close fight. Floyd's on another level, so I just can't see Floyd struggling with this guy. I think Floyd's gonna win on points. And um, it's just great to be part of the show, because it's a massive show. And Big um, show. you know, I'm opening up the card like for my boy, Amin, Shay Smith. I've got to give him like a shout out as well. I've been sparring with him. So I've been sparring with two world champs um, for this camp. So I ain't worried about nothing. Well, Ashley, I got to congratulate you, man. Yeah, we yeah. spoke about this. Yeah. Like you said, hard work, dedication. You put in so much work in it. Oh, uh, yeah. And they seen it. They, you know, appreciate it. And they yeah. brought you into the team, 100%. the whole team. As you can see, the whole team was over here, though. Yeah, I think we got to step over there to Ronald, the thrill of the Gavril, speak to him. For a minute, a couple last words for your fans worldwide. Oh yeah, just much love to you know the, the British fans in the UK, to the fans in America, the fans all over the world. Cause I get messages from all over the world, and I'm um, just thank you very much. You know, it's gonna be a great fight, and I'm gonna be victorious. A lot of my people back in Poland, man, they oh, said yeah, that you won that love, fight with Danny Garcia. So yeah, yeah, much love. Worldwide, yeah. Always, cool. thank you, blood. Right. Always pleasure.